To migrate an Avid Media Composer sequence to Adobe Premiere Pro CC, you need to export an AAF file of the project, as Premiere Pro supports Avid's AAF format. This is how it works. I'm here in Avid Media Composer and I have this sequence that I want to migrate to Premiere Pro CC. As you can see, it has been worked on a bit. Let me show you a few things. Here at the beginning there are two picture-in-picture -picture effects and then there is a title coming in. The picture-in-picture -picture effects actually are animating the skill property and the title is coming in with a wipe and then at the end there is a dip to color which actually is using a background color of white. Further down the timeline there is this slow motion effect. The speed was set to about 61% and down here I have a film burn loop that has a superimpose effect applied of about 50%. Also you can see that the audio levels have been adjusted at the beginning and at the end. So how do we migrate this sequence to Premiere Pro? Select the sequence in your bin, go to File, Export. Locate a folder where you want to save the AAF in. And in the export settings, there are many templates, but none of them suit our needs. So we'll choose options to create our own. Export as AAF, obviously. Make sure you check the AAF edit protocol. Include all video, include all audio. And in the video data details and audio data details, both make sure you set link to media. As we are linking to the media, we are not transcoding anything, we're not copying, we're not moving anything, we're just linking to the existing media. Also in the audio details, I've unchecked all the other options. Hit save, confirm that the name and the location are correct and hit save again. Avid now exported the AF and we're now ready to start Premiere Pro. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to create a new Premiere Pro project. But rest assured that you can perfectly import a AAF file into an existing project. To create a new project, click on New Project, give it a name and hit OK. Premiere now created a blank project. Choose File, Import, locate the AAF you just exported and click Import. There will be a translation report, we'll look into that shortly. And in the project panel, you can see that there has been a bin created, a title and the sequence, and also this translation report. If I put it in list mode and I click open the bin with the media, you see that the media is available and there was no transcoding whatsoever. If I now double click on the sequence and zoom out a bit and broaden the audio tracks a bit so we can see them, we can see that the sequence came over pretty fine. If I go to this clip and go to the effect controls, I can see that the picture in picture effect translated as a scale effect on this one as well as on the other. And if I look at the title, I can see that the title came over, but not the appearance of the title. AAF doesn't support the appearances of the title. So if I want to change the title to the appearance that I want to, I can double click on the title, which opens the Premiere title tool. I can put the title on the location where I think it should be, somewhere here in the middle. I can change the color and I can change the font. And I'm doing this to show you that it's actually a title and not a rendered still. At the beginning of the title, we see a cross dissolve, but in the Avid, we had a wipe there. If I now go to my translation report, I can actually read that on video track four, a transition was not translated and cross dissolve was used instead. No problem, I can go to my effects, find the wipe transition and just drag it on top of the cross dissolve and now I have a wipe effect. The dip to color translated fine and even the white came over fine. Here we had the slow motion effect and if I check that, I actually see that the speed change of 61% is there and the film loop effect that had the superimpose has been translated as an opacity of 50%. And as you already saw, the audio level adjustments came over just as they were in Avid. But the best part of all this, and I already mentioned it, is that I'm using the native Avid footage. If I right click on any of the clips, I can choose Reveal in Finder or Reveal in Explorer on Windows, and it will show me that I'm actually using the MXF files from Avid inside the Avid media files. So rest assured, Premiere really natively supports the Avid MXF format.
Last thing I want to show you is exporting. Should you need to export a sequence to a audio post-production software that supports the AAF protocol, you can do that by selecting the sequence and going to File, Export, AAF.